Hi, friends and followers. Well, here's the FT-102 Yesu once again. I did order some Oberon relays from eBay. I'm not sure. These are the old ones I pulled out. I'm not sure if they, what I got was uh, authentic or not. It's from China, of course. But um, I did put in <clears throat> two more relays here. So I think everything that is in here now, well, no. Replaced, let's see, this one here is now a new relay, the one in the back. This is the original troublesome relay here, which I cleaned up. This one here is new. This one here on the left is new from my purchase. 24 volt relays here and this one here are ones that I picked up a week or two ago off eBay. So anyway, that's all that. It seems like these things work. So I'm now trying to debug the SSB portion. So this thing, when it runs, SSB just quits. It goes back to AM mode on SSB mode, LSB and USB. I'm not quite yet sure how the product detector on this thing is fed a carrier. If it's from the local board, I suppose it is from local board. I'm thinking it's these two oscillators here. Anyway, when this thing heats up, SSB quits. So <clears throat> I've been trying to scope out various test points, TPs on this thing to see what, the TPs test points aren't documented in the manual at all, but they exist on the board, so. And this local board is, uh, it's the largest board in the radio. It occupies the entire length or depth of the radio there. AF board here, finals board here, regulator board B. I guess that's regulator, no, I'm not sure where A is in this thing. Anyway, turn the thing on. So there's the SSB working uh, for the time being. It usually goes out by now, so just kind of waiting and see what happens here. Wouldn't mind getting some good signals. AM guys here. not even good AM, so I'm wondering if my AF board is bad. I don't know.
I guess that's side bend with a carrier. Well, the side band's holding for now. I wiggled a few cables, but I doubt that was it. Okay, that doesn't sound too good. Well, so interestingly, with the scope on this pin here, I am getting SSB now, strangely enough. That's weird. What if I take it off of here? SSB and this thing was just dying out. Okay, twenty nine six is FM. And interestingly enough, okay, this won't cover 29.6. Well, I basically reseated some cables here. I reseated this one, I think, and I pulled this one out. 
interesting how sideband is working now without uh, going kaflui. I guess I should get a hairdryer and uh, heat up this board and see what happens. Sideband will probably go out once I put the radio back together. Best to get a hairdryer and heat it up. All right, well, that's my FT-102 update. I did order a uh, new AF board from eBay, which is coming in today, but I may not need it. We'll see. This large board, local board, is like 100 bucks on eBay. This radio has been like a money sink. I just don't want to put any more money into it. With relays, there's probably, I don't know, 75 bucks of relays, all the different bad ones I've ordered that didn't work right. Some I sent back. To finally get that figured out, just have to have experience, I guess, with the radio and know what you're doing. I've had to muck around with uh, 24 volt supply here to get that working right. This thing has about 33 volts coming in and that thing is running hot, getting it down to 24 volts. Anyway, that's about it for the radio. Um, guess I could show you the relays. Turn it off. And let's bring this thing down without crushing my fingers or breaking something. Oh, it's a heavy thing. Ouch. It's always nipping at something when it comes down. Okay, so relays. Here they are. Get some light in here. There's never light in this room ever. And if I put this light down, it hits the radio and it will knock my GFI. So that's no fun. Anyway, the relay, so. Yeah, I can't see in there. Can't see it or anything. If I unplug the radio from the back here, it isn't grounded. So what happens is this little part of the lamp here can hit the radio and then cause the GFI to go pop on the house. So I've now ungrounded the radio in case that happens. Anyway. Yeah, you can see the relays now pretty good. Can I put this light down so I can show you? I don't have three hands, so it's not working out so well. Okay, well, no light needed. This relay is RLO1, and that's an Omeron that I got yesterday, and it seems like it's working. I don't know if the other one's more efficient I had in there. I think that came with the radio, I don't know. But anyway, that's an Omeron in there. 12 volt relay in the socket. That second relay is RLO2, TR relay. So the first one up in the upper corner there is for the um, RF preamp, which appears not to be working right now. The second relay is for TR. Okay, now there's RL, RL03, RL04. That one on the left is a is a 12 volt relay. And the one on the right is 24 volts. And I don't think anyone's tampered with the radio as far as the 12 volt modification, which I didn't want. So yeah, the relay on the right is from a guy in Ukraine that I bought these from. It looks like a Chinese knockoff company or something. 24 volt relay, but it works. And now, the real hack relay is this one that I have. 24 volt relay hanging in midair here, which is the one that goes under the switch. And I brought that out with coax just so I wouldn't have to be digging in there in case it goes bad again. And I don't care, it looks terrible, but who cares? It seems like it works. I'm not sure how many dbs i'm losing that mal would not be happy with but you can only put so much time into these radios before you uh wonder where your life is going right so that's that so now so now i, I want to really get this thing buttoned up get the ssb working on it receiving wise i also wouldn't mind putting in a filter into here just a resistor 
to give it wide AM reception before I put this thing back together. All right, well, that's about it for my little demo here. I guess I could turn this thing back on, see what it does. I'll right side up here. I unplugged it. There we go, it's plugged back in. Whoa, scope just fell. It missed the radio, luckily. Yeah, this RF amp, you can see that these two relays are clicking, but I must have burned up the RF amp somehow, or it never did work. I don't know. Anyway, sideband's holding. I guess I could try for some AM here and see how it sounds. AM. 1700. Nothing. There's a carrier. Yeah, this radio has a lot of birdies, and maybe that's because I have it all apart. Or it's bad radio, I don't know. Or that relay's hanging there. But can't say it's the best. It's an old radio, that's for sure. I like how it looks. It's got like 80 styling to it. Let's try this. That's somewhat reasonable, except this thing has a 10 megahertz oscillator, which I set it to beat with WWV exactly. It was heterodyning a lot. That seems reasonable. So for now I have SSB working great. How about CW? Yeah, it's working. Does this work on CW here? Sure does. Very narrow. Well, that's kind of dead. All right, that's my demo. I was hoping for SSB to be fixed. I guess it is fixed. Not sure why. I didn't move a few wires around, but you never know. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.